Hello. Okay, so I need to do a sound check and make sure that you all can hear me well. So, you know what? Let me just do it. Let me just do it and check it on here. Okay. All right. And check it on. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, sis. All righty. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Thank you. So I can't even take credit for this background. I am in a lobby working. Just did some photos and so I'm like, I'm just gonna stay here. Great ambiance, great lighting. I won't fall asleep working, all that good stuff. I, but if you will be joining me on YouTube, I'm Shaquetta Cunningham, nonprofit consultant and strategist. And today's video is brought to you by the Decision Makers Leader Circle. If you want to join a program that consists of high quality consulting, a program where you can work with a quality consultant and that will guide you and lead you as a nonprofit leader as you thrive to lead a thriving nonprofit organization, I'm going to encourage you to join our Leader Circle. It's a monthly subscription program. You can cancel at any time if you believe the value and the information shared with you is not relevant to you, but I don't think you will uh, because I'm intentional uh, about supporting nonprofit leaders so that they can do great work for themselves, through themselves, as they lead thriving nonprofit organizations. And you can do that by joining the Leader Circle. And I'm going to drop this link in here for you. And I hope to see you in the circle. You can also find out more information on the Karis Group Facebook page or on Instagram at Karis Group Official. Again, it's up to you as far as how long you want to stay in the program. I always say that when you are starting programs, you want to at least give programs at, at least six months. Ensure that you can incorporate the processes and the systems and actually take advantage of the information that will be shared. So again, that's at consultcaris.com forward slash leader circle. Alrighty. Now, listen, uh, when you work, especially after lunch, you need some great lighting. And so I'm like, I'm just going to stay here. They may see me here a lot. And then I know so many people coming in and out. I don't know because I've talked a lot too <laughs> as well. But today I want to just come in. I have been unctioned to talk about the power of mentors for over a week and really just have it. I've made so many excuses. I love actually going live and then there are seasons to where I don't go live if I don't feel the unction I don't feel like God is leading me to say something and then I really have been unction because I have been utilizing and leaning on my mentors in this season of growth and transition for me as a professional as a consultant as an entrepreneur today I was sitting here eating me some chicken avocado rolls and yes it was that was like it's time for you to go live again so i stopped eating and they are delicious and we're going to talk about the power of mentors i sincerely believe and there is not one successful person hear me when i say this the your favorite basketball player your favorite singer uh, a business person that you admire, a professional that you admire. Uh, there is not one professional successful person that will tell you they got to them, you know, at that next level without mentors. Yeah, I just heard a dog barking, so it's like I'm in a hotel, but I forgot. Um, am I still on? Okay, so 
with that no matter the stage you are in your life you need mentorship now here is where kind of we need to expound upon what does mentorship look like because see oftentimes we believe that a mentorship is someone that we have a connection with and that we can talk to with our business ideas now let me i'm going to do a lot of pivots i'm sorry my thoughts are running together and i talk fast but please i hope you have a pen and paper just capture it and just go with me because i'm just going to flow in and out of some areas I believe that you should have mentors in different areas of your life that you will not have a mentor right that a marriage mentor and then that, ma that marriage mentor will also serve as your business mentor sometimes they can be one and the same but oftentimes these are different people there there's a mentor that I have or there's a couple of mentors that I have for business there's a mentor that I sought out for marriage and there was an older woman that could if she's watching this she's probably like older seasoned i love you <laughs> that i sought out i prayed to god that i needed a woman that could understand me as a professional as an entrepreneur um, as someone that's community oriented but also heavily and first priority devoted to my family but how do i blend this and so i prayed and met this woman through another group um and so but she's not well sometimes she kind of is but i will say she's not my business mentor but it kind of is but mainly though i'm seeking her for as being a woman and and growing and as a family woman and i have me and mentors to where i'm not going to ask them about me and the role i have as a wife does that make sense like that's i don't have those conversations and so I believe that you do need to have um, mentors in different departments of your life according to your role and in in who you you know you know what you are doing. So I also have I think I told you business. I have a, like a big sister um, marriage mentor. I have a sorority mentor because I do want to. Uh, I love my sorority and do want to elevate my sorority and so. I have um, seasoned sororities in there that hold certain offices and that who I seek out, who I love to support. Um, I am just, I yield myself to submit to people that are doing great things and not that I'm trying to mimic, but you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Mentors have already walked different paths or have a level of wisdom and they can help you get to the next level and they want to help you get to the next level but also let me say this this is a symbiotic relationship i've been asked to mentor right and i do have like mentor uh mentees like through my sorority and then mentees i've adopted through over a cup and black women entrepreneurs as i am led but you have to ensure that these relationships are not one-sided one-sided i pray for my mentors if there's something that I can help my mentors with i do i serve i listen i and i implement now 100 percent of the information that you seek for mentors it may not be applicable at that time or you may have to tweak it but the whole goal is to be able to submit to leadership and actually follow a plan of action to the advice that you sought out right it's not like this argument or you're trying to lead the leader like you are seeking out people that have wisdom and expertise and have walked lanes and have connections there's a humility that you have to have within yourself to be able to submit to mentors this me myself and i this individual mentality or you know like um i hear god <laughs> you know i do too and if you read your Bible correctly, then you'll know every great leader submitted to a prophet, submitted to another leader so that they can enhance their greatness. There is not one person in the Bible, even Jesus Christ himself, <laughs> there is not one person in the Bible that went to higher levels without having someone with an oversight position in their lives. 
mentors can get you into places i sometimes go to events with my mentors not as shanquetta but as i'm looking and i ask like can i come with you i've sat at tables just to be in the presence not to say anything but just to see how my mentor maneuvers just to be in certain rooms mentors are extremely extremely important uh oh tasha that's a great point <laughs> uh certainly and we're in a time and we're in this dispensation to where like people use the term self-made that's not true that's <laughs> you're telling me that along the way that no one contributed no one gave advice there was no one that's poured into you wisdom right and mentors are not supposed to like the be the people that give you fifty thousand dollars i mean they can i'm i'm looking for that mentor investor that's my next love in the name of jesus uh <laughs> but their wisdom and i was reading this message or hearing this message this morning about solomon and how the power of wisdom and this is what mentors do how that supersedes everything because if you get the wisdom the know-how to implement the knowledge that you receive, the know-how to understand what you receive and what you are doing and what you are supposed to do with your gifts and with your business and your profession. Man, all of the stuff comes after that. But if you don't have a mentor, and you're right, if you're a pastor, you don't have a mentor. If you're an entrepreneur, if you don't have a mentor. If you're a wife, if you don't have a, uh, and you don't have a mentor. If you're a professional, if you don't have a mentor, I assure you, you will, acquire way too many bumps and bruises that are unnecessary because you just don't submit to anyone so what's on the other side of that you're like well how do i submit because i'm i'm grown i don't need another mom i don't need another dad you know people need to watch how they talk to me a mentor will love you it will not intentionally try to do you harm with their words but there may be some times to where they have to tell you, are you ready? You probably need to breathe because of what I'm about to say. Are you listening? And that's what my mentors do to me. They're like, oh, we're, I'm about to hit it. We're about to get to this point. Here's where your correction has to come in at. But they do it in love. And because I know their heart for me to succeed, I just take a big gulp. Well, a lot of times I'm solid because I have to process it. <laughs> I have to process it because I'm one of those people that loves to be right all the time. But I know that because I pray for these people to be in my life, I know that they are telling me godly counsel and wisdom. And that's Psalms 1. That you're blessed just with, when you surround yourself and intentionally want to attract and adhere to sound wisdom you need mentors you need people that are in spaces and you're in career trajectory that can remember you because they know that you're willing to be corrected that you're willing to listen that you're willing to take in a blend of ideas you're willing to try things out to figure out okay well we did go down that road and she tried that but it didn't work but she pivoted she assessed the situation he assessed it and then he was able to find another path of, to success or you know another right another path to get that right solution the power in having mentors i really can't even describe it in words literally just saw one of my mentors in the lobby and there's a luncheon here and i'm the mentee that you know probably pushes a little bit because I'm like hey you're at this luncheon I'm hungry too I could use a plate so where are you sitting mentor and I'll be right there or you but you have not because you ask not <laughs> you you I mean you really do but I assure you that if my mentor calls me and what I can do they know that I will 
my mentors know that whom I profess as mentors and my mentors know and then I also will grab a mentor and show myself mentee worthy right and to, to where they say oh I can't even get you out of my life if I wanted to and I'm like no not this season you're you're supposed to I'm supposed to be submitted to you and you're supposed to help me and guide me this season but because I do know I have a skill set to offer as well I just don't come to the relationship like I just don't know if I can help my mentors I will I help them build I serve with them and pastor Keon said this honor is the currency to elevation I'm going to repeat that honor is the currency to elevation a lot of us are still trying to get to certain places and we think it's our pedigree if we think it's who we are and our you know where we come from and different things and there's some parts of success we're going to get to and some areas that we are going to get to is because we're going to serve our way into those areas that's not all areas but there are some ways that you do have to serve and submit your ways into so for instance I reached out I won't say the event but I reached out to uh, an event that I really want to be in the ticket price is not what I really want to pay with a senior and different things so I asked if I could serve if I could serve in the room serve as the hostess do I need to MC? help with some program things I could use my gifts in exchange for buying a ticket <laughs> with one of my mentors yeah you have to be I mean there's humility it's it's humility if you can serve your way and that's what mentorship is yielding yielding yourself if you think you're too great to do that, to do that, to too great to listen to someone, you think you are more advanced because of technology, there is an exchange. I know they I've been told by my mentors that they learn from me and I'm so grateful. But I really, really learn from them. So I hope that on today you uh if you're watching the replay because meta facebook is kind of tripping to where it's like they punish you for being away from live so i'm going to be sharing this and all this good stuff so you'll probably most of you will be watching this after since they didn't want to have this in my algorithm like they should <laughs> but okay mark um but if you're watching this, I hope that you intentionally seek out mentors. You know someone who's at a space in, in motherhood that you want to attract and you want to implement some of their systems and some of the way that they do things, right? You, you know who they are. You got, you're connecting your Facebook friends with 5,000 people but yet you can't reach out to anyone but it's humility but again you have not because you ask not or you know you know a business professional and to which you admire and you want to connect with them you know who they are people will sit up here and say immediately I don't think I know anyone no you're lacking the confidence to submit yourselves in the ask because you know you know you're an entrepreneur you know another entrepreneur who you admire you do know someone but we all have to be willing to just simply say hey I have made some mistakes or I know that I'm sprouting and I'm budding and I'm growing in this area I want to handle this area with grace 
in all the wisdom, this is uncharted territory. You're a new mom, you're a new wife, or you're a new college student. This is uncharted territory for me. You have been down this road. I would like for you to become my mentor. This does not mean everyday conversation either, because remember, you are aligning yourselves with people that have a lot of important things to do. Don't get your feelings hurt if they can't answer your phone right then. If they have to schedule you out for another week or two weeks. Okay, let's have some, you know, let's just be mindful of who we are aligning ourselves with. But intentionally seek out mentors. Intentionally ensure that as much as you're receiving, you can give as well when needed. And it may not be in the same season. You may do have mentors like, okay, I need to, they see they need to invest in you, but then they'll see in a couple of years how it will be reciprocated. But submit to correction. Man. <sighs> so my pastor is also my mentor um, for business. And, oof, yeah, some of the conversations as a business mentor, I sometimes have to grind my teeth and just like, mm -hmm. or I get real quiet. But I know that the value in the words that he's sharing, it's, it, it literally has yielded tenfold return, hundredfold return in my business in the turnaround and in and in this trajectory now i'm having a lot of growth one thing i need help and support with is the organization and structure and client management right so i'm seeking out that advice from people and other consultants other women that i admire other black women consultants and saying hey i admire your success is there a system? Is there a tool? What are you using to, you know, to handle your influx? Man, you have to be willing to ask. Don't try to present this picture that, like, you have it all together. Because a person who actually says they have it all together, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Now, I'm not supposed to know your business because, you know, that's why mentors are there for people you i am one of those people to where you know people are like i'm an open book no <laughs> not unless you're supposed to read my chapter that's when i'll share but with mentors you do have to be vulnerable enough to say hey i made some mistakes i handled this client wrong i dropped the ball on this project or my husband and i had a conversation and i know i didn't speak to him right you know and or I have teenage daughters and I need to navigate about conversations about their sexual identity and make sure that I'm raising them in the way of my faith. Like these are things I need to seek out wisdom and advice for, right? So, okay, so as we are almost at 25 minutes. Power of mentorship, power in having mentors, I hope today that you have, you know, just received some confirmation or some clarity in why mentors matter, why they will help you in professionally, personally, financially, um, in your entrepreneurial endeavors. Uh, you need mentors. Don't be afraid to ask. First, pray. And then there are people that you might want to connect with and you never know. And then sometimes mentors come and you don't even know them. The mentor that I sought out for to be a big sister to me because she's a wife and has grown children and an entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur. She, um, I, I met her like for an hour, but then when we talked, we talked for three hours and we connected. And she's like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm assigned to you, right?" So it could happen like that. What you want will find you. What you really want, it will find you. She will find you, he will find you, you all will align. Just be open that it may not look like the person whom you thought, 
They may not be in the same city. They may not be in the same state. My mentor is like, she just moved. Marilyn? I think she just moved. Um, so, never met in person at all, but we've zoomed in and talked. Um, so, again, power of mentors. Find you mentors. Submit. And then we'll talk about this phase. Become a mentee. I'm sorry, become a mentor. As you are a mentee, you can also become a mentor. And I had to understand that myself. I thought that I needed to be in a certain space in order to mentor. But you're always someone else's prayer point. You're always at a space someone wants to be in. Even if you think where you're going through and what you're going through is chaotic, but you're always at you're always someone's prayer point. So you do have some wisdom and some insight and experience to give someone else. I have five children and have been married nearly twenty years. I can I can mentor younger wives, even if you're forty five and you've just been married a year. I have some experience right so don't discount your experience okay awesome awesome well thank you all so much for tuning in I appreciate it if you're watching please share like comment um, on the video when you watch on YouTube please subscribe and if you also have different topics that you believe um, I could add value to and you would like to hear me speak on be share that as well as I strive to get back in the rhythm of lives. Y'all know when I'm live and I'm going there. And then when it's time for me to take a break and I don't mind taking a break. Uh, just it is what it is. So thank you all so much for joining. Have a wonderful day. And I hope you're sending emails, making some phone calls to align with your mentors.